Hey everyone. So in the previous video we were talking about the free radical substitution reaction of alkanes. It happens with halogens and the main condition behind is the ultraviolet light which helps in initiating the process. We remember there were three steps initiation, propagation and termination and I was wondering how about we do some past paper questions to practice those. This is question it says Cyclohexane is a colorless liquid used in industry to produce synthetic fibers. A reaction scheme involving cyclohexane is shown. Now you can see the hexagon. By the way, it has six carbons, so let's number it. Carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is, by the way, the skeletal formula for cyclohexane. You can see chlorine is attached over here. We will number it differently now and we will number it in a way that the chlorine attached carbon the carbon attached with chlorine gets carbon number one reaction one involves a free radical substitution mechanism we know that state the essential condition required for reaction one to occur so our answer is going to be uv light because uv light by the way this is a photochemical reaction any photochemical reaction requires a photon to initiate that so it's a photochemical reaction complete the table to give details of the mechanism in reaction one now in the beginning you can see that a chlorine molecule which was a stable molecule is breaking down into two radicals just a revision that it was a homolytic fission where chlorine atoms were breaking their bond in a way that both chlorine atoms receive one electron and they both become radicals of chlorine so that was the initiation process because this is how the reaction began let's go for the next row you can see they call it propagation you can see that cyclohexane is a molecule here it's not a radical but chlorine is a radical here so radical is attacking on a molecule and you can see now you have a cyclohexane radical this is a cyclohexane radical because you can see there is a dot drawn around one of the carbons so radical and what else so obviously there must have been a hydrogen on these carbons when the chlorine radical attacked it made sure to make a bond between HCl because that was the purpose of chlorine radical attacking to make a bond so chlorine radical from here grabs a hydrogen from this carbon to make HCl and during this process the carbon becomes a radical just revising this when chlorine radical was attacking there was a homolytic fission here and in a way both carbons received their one electron each so now this carbon becomes a radical you can see and the hydrogen goes away with the chlorine moving forward you can see that another cyclohexane radical is here so that is a radical here which attacks on a chlorine molecule chlorine molecule is pretty stable in row number three why is it attacking because that's unstable so chlorine molecule looked like this in the third third row this cyclohexane radical wanted stability so it made a bond with one of the chlorines you can see that a chlorine bond has been made and what about the other chlorine it becomes a radical so cyclohexane radical sta uh, gets stability for itself but makes chlorine radical so that is another propagation step a propagation step is the one where one radical attacks on a molecule to make another radical in step number three you can see the cyclohexane radical is gaining stability but making a chlorine radical in the termination step you can see two radicals are attacking so both are radicals one radical is attacking on another radical the cyclohexane radical attacks on chlorine radical both will make a bond here so it will be chlorocyclohexane one chlorocyclohexane let's go for another question related to this 
which equation represents a valid propagation step in the chlorination of ethane. So chlorination of ethane means the two carbon molecule was there and chlorine was another reactant. So it must have looked something like this C286 plus Cl2 and then the steps must have begun. Now propagation means that a radical is attacking on a molecule. Which steps do not make sense? Option D. Because in option D there are two radicals combining so that is a termination step. When two radicals combine with each other that's a termination step so option D doesn't make sense. It could be A, B or C. Now we know during the entire process hydrogen radical is never made because chlorine always makes a bond with hydrogen. You should know this thing that hydrogen radicals hydrogen radicals are never made. Whether it's ethane or methane or any other alkane they are never made. So in this process option A is wrong because hydrogen radicals do not exist and again option C is wrong because again hydrogen radicals are not made. So B is correct where a chlorine radical is attacking on this molecule and makes another new kind of radical. Let's see this question. It says chlorofluorocarbons damage the ozone layer by undergoing reactions with a free radical mechanism. The first stage of this is initiation. Which equation is most likely to be the initiation stage when chlorofluoromethane is involved in such a reaction? Now that seems like a tricky question but we need to see one thing that when we focus on this molecule which is our fluoro chlorofluorocarbon the bond length means a lot to us because the bond length will determine the bond energy. You should know longer bonds provide lesser bond energy and when you have lesser bond energy those bonds are weaker and easier to break. So we'll ask ourselves which bonds are bigger. When we draw those hypothetically fluorine is a small molecule and let's suppose I'm drawing carbon so fluorine is not a very big atom the bond length of fluorine and carbon is pretty short so it's a short bond length with high bond energy value but when you focus on chlorine chlorine is a pretty big atom with three electronic shells while the carbon is still the same so in this case the bond length is pretty big so here you have a longer bond with lower bond energy hydrogen is pretty small so hydrogen bond energy is really high so we should focus on the bond where carbon and chlorine are detaching carbon chlorine bond is broken down so let's go in option number a in option a you can see the fluorine is going away the fluorine will not go because fluorine carbon fluorine bond is strong carbon fluorine bond strong in option b you can see the chlorine is leaving which is pretty true because carbon chlorine bond weaker I'm not saying it's weaker absolutely I'm saying comparatively it's weaker in this case so option B is the answer let's go for the other MCQs let's see um, that is about crude oil let's let's not get hung up on it we do have a question related here it's again isomerism so we don't have to get hung up here also we have one question here that says the table compares the reactivity of alkanes and alkenes with chlorine name of the type of reaction with chlorine so alkanes do substitution reaction and alkenes go for um, addition reaction. Name of the type of reacting species, free radical and then in alkenes we have a different mechanism, we'll talk about it. During the first stage in substitution reaction, chlorine forms chlorine free radicals. What is meant by the term free radical? So we know a free radical is a chemical species it could be an atom or it could be a molecule remember methyl was a free radical it could be a chlorine radical or we have also seen methyl radicals 
so it could be an atom or a molecule so chemical species with unpaired electrons their free radicals because this is the dot is equals to their unpaired electron I had to break the word un and paired sorry name and explain the type of bond breaking which occurs to form chlorine free radicals we know that is the homolytic fission a homolytic bond fission means means where a bond is broken and both atoms both atoms receive one electron each there is no positive and negative charge rather we get radicals here name the stage of the reaction mechanism which occurs when methane molecule reacts with a chlorine free radical so stage it could be initiation or propagation or termination so they are saying methane molecule reacts with chlorine radical CH4 molecule reacts with a chlorine radical so that we know is a kind of propagation step because one radical is attacking on another molecule let's go for question 4 complete the equation for the reaction which occurs when a methane molecule reacts with a chlorine radical so you can see chlorine radical it will make sure that chlorine makes a bond with H so chlorine will make a bond with H let's say this H is going away hypothetically what are we left with we are left with this portion which will make its radical so it would be C H 3 radical so it would be hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride and methyl radical so I hope it provided a good revision of the concepts and in the next video we're talking about the alkenes and their reactivity stay tuned guys thanks